peasants, take heed, peasants in New York. Uh, you think that Supreme Court just slapped down New York State and said, hey, you cannot make people beg you for a constitutional right? And New York's like, oh, yeah? We're going to make you, last week, New York said, we're going to make you turn over your socialist media accounts and we're going to scrub through them to determine whether or not we're going to allow you. <laughs> and it's like, the Supreme Court just said you cannot make people demonstrate valid need or cause or whatever to exercise a right. You can't make people beg for a right. And New York's like, oh, you think so? Well, story from Amoland.com broke on the, uh, July 13th, 2022 by John Crump. Jared, take it away. Multiple leaks have indicated that any New York State pistol permit not issued by September 1st, 2022 will need to be resubmitted or updated to meet the new training requirement laid out under the recently passed Concealed Carry Improvement Act. CCIA. Oh, the Concealed Carry Improvement Act. Oh, it makes it better. Yep. Multiple email leaks to MLN News have shown that New York State plans to shut down the permitting process on September 1st, 2022. <laughs> At least until the Division of Criminal Justice Services and superintendent of state police come up with the details of the newly required and likely difficult training regime under CCIA. The estimated date for the training course to be designed and submitted to the state is a, for approval is April 1st, 2023. That means that New York state will stop issuing permits for seven months. That'll show you peasants. You think you peasants think you're going to cry to the Supreme Court? You think the Supreme Court's going to back you? Pfft. We don't listen to the Supreme Court. We don't follow the law. We do what we want. We're New York. New York State's proper clause, proper cause clause, <laughs> clause, cause, yeah. cause, clause was struck down in the landmark United States Supreme Court case, New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin. The court ordered that the state became become shall issue in justice clarence thomas's opinion the supreme court said that an individual right or individual has the right to, to carry a firearm outside the home for self-defense new york state governor kathy hochel highly objected to the supreme court's program oh did opinion she she highly objected a special session of the new york state legislature to respond to the court's decision in record time, the New York State Legislator passed a slew of new anti-gun bills named the Concealed Carry Improvement Act. Is that kind of like the, the, the SAFE Act that they passed in record time overnight with no debate, no public debate or scrutiny? We're just going to do what we want to do? The new anti-gun act made the Empire State more restrictive regarding carrying a firearm in public than before the Bruin decision. <laughs> New York State replaced the proper cause clause with a good moral character clause. Anyone wanting to carry a firearm in public must give over all their social media accounts to the state to review and give four character references. <laughs> you got to come up with four people to say, so it's a good moral character clause. I guess that means everyone in New York State government is disqualified. The state can reject. The state can reject the application if they find anything questionable. Many believe that this cause violates the holder's First Amendment rights. You think? The new law also sets most state locations off limits to carrying a firearm. In addition to making most of New York State off limits to the concealed carry firearm carriers, the new law mandated a new training program. Applicants will, will be required to undergo 16 hours of training, including two hours of range time, to complete the, what happens in the other 14 hours of that training. That's where they tell you what you're not allowed to do. 14 hours. They spend 14 hours telling you what you're not supposed to do and what you're going to go to jail for. You should spend way more than two hours of range time. In a oh, come course. on. You just think, oh, come on. Uh, to complete the training necessary for a permit. The New York State Legislature did not define what should be included in the training. And I don't think it's their 
Uh, to be fair, I don't think it's their responsibility to do so. And, oh, the and, state's always and, right, and you're wrong. Well, this, the legislature they're is, smarter it's than not you. their responsibility to do so. They're smarter than you. And they just included an arbitrary number of training hours that will be required. The legislature put the... Oh, here it is. Oh, I didn't read this paragraph in the last one. Last time I read this. The mm. legislature put the burden of developing the new training course on the Division of Criminal Justice Services and the Superintendent of State Police. Oh, well, we know that that person's not biased. Stop yeah. the issuing of pistol permits for seven months seems to fly in the face of the Bruin decision. Many will now uh, will see this move to stop the permitting process as New York State violating its citizens' rights to carry a firearm outside the home for self-defense. There has already been one challenge to the new lawsuit filed by Gun Owners of America just this Monday, which was last week, I believe. Yep. And this new move by the state will probably trigger even more lawsuits. Neither the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services nor the Superintendent of State Police returned Amelin News request for comment at the time of writing. No kidding. Oh, man. New York, if you live in New York, here's the deal. It's your fault. What do you mean it's my fault? Yeah, it's your fault. You allow this one-party Democrat tyrant control of your state. They're never going to obey the law. They're never going to follow the Constitution. This chick is just Kumo in a skirt. This, this, is, this is Kumo in a dress. That's all this chick is. She's a communist. She's an elitist. She's a scumbag. You have an entire state house and Senate full of scumbags, and you allow it to happen. Well, what are we supposed to do? There's New York and New York and New York City and the city, and what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Put forth a ballot initiative. Do something. Leave the state. I don't know, but if you leave the state, don't bring any of your East Coast libertarian or liberal East Coast liberalness with you. This state is run by criminals, and the people who live in the state are slaves. Oh, uh, no, you're not supposed to play that. So, thoughts on moving to Rumble? So, are we only one hour in? That's it. Yeah, we're right about at one hour. Are we right about it, or are we plus or minus? We're like plus 35 seconds. Oh, okay. All right, cool. All right, so, uh, yeah, they just refused. And this it, this is illustrative of what happens when you allow communists, Democrats are communists, when you allow them to get in power. You allow them to, to decide that you are a peasant and that, I know that you think that this Constitution thing gives you the right, but it really doesn't. We will decide. You will beg for our permission, and then we may or may not decide to give you permission based on how we're feeling that day. That is not America. That is not how a representative republic works, but you've allowed it to happen. You've had years to fix your state. New York, sorry, not going to let you off the hook. I'm not going to feel sorry for you. I'm not crying tears for you guys. You let this happen. When Kumo illegally, unlawfully, unconstitutionally pushed through the SAFE Act, you folks in New York, all you gun owners and blah, 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 you looked at us and you're like, shut your mouth, student of the gun. This is going to be overturned and it will not stand. And mama, my nana, my nana, my nana. We even brought a, a guest on. Yeah, we to brought give a, you instructions on how to yeah. do and what to do. It's been seven, eight years and the SAFE Act is still in place and it's not getting any better. It's only getting worse. So tell me what you're going to do. Why do you even want guns in New York? If you're just going to allow the government to be your master, cradle to grave, what do you, will you just want guns so you can play with them like toys? Is it like a toy that you play with? Is it a collector's item? Is it like, you know, Hot Wheels cars? Why do you even want arms? Why do you want arms in New York? 
if you're going to allow your government to treat you like a slave from the cradle to the grave. What's the point? Just an expensive hobby. Get a different hobby. Collect stamps or something. You know? Maybe get into NASCAR. <laughs> Who's your favorite driver? Uh, tomorrow, we have a, uh, well, tomorrow meaning Thursday. This coming Thursday, uh, we're going to have a uh, Student of the Gun University podcast number four. Uh, beginner's training is the most important training. Hmm. That's interesting given the, uh, the 14 hours of classroom that, uh, even, even tactical responses, um, justifiable use of force, uh, classroom port is not 14 hours. It's like two or three. <laughs> That's a, 14 hours is a long time to sit in a seat. Well, it, you sit and you listen to a guy with a PowerPoint drone on about, you're not allowed to carry here. If you go here and you carry, it's a class one misdemeanor. If you, if you carry your gun and you go here, it's a class four felony. Uh, you can't go here and then you're not allowed to do this. And, and uh, most, let's face it. How many of you guys have ever sat through a state approved, the state concealed carry class? Yeah, super basic. You, you come it's out on the other end, you're like, wow, your gun. no matter what I do, I'm going to be wrong, and I'm going to go to jail. Now, I should just fair, sell my says, gun and get a It says dog. including two hours of range time. It two could be, hours It could mean two of hours range. minimum. Minimum, yeah, yeah. Maybe it'll be 14 hours of range time and two hours of classroom. No, no. The state, maybe they'll provide the, the ammo, too. The state highway patrol is yeah. going to be involved in the state police are going to be involved in it the stasi yeah, is they'll gonna, bring their pallets of ammo so that the yeah students can use it and you no. don't even have to pay for your ammo for the class it's going to nope. be all good nope, nope, nope. the stasi is going to be involved in writing the curriculum so you know it's going to be good now we are on the public in uh public hour mm -hmm. and i guess it's two shows now we do in one show so but this is the public show and we have new listeners so we do need to make sure that we inform people that we are not against training no that's we're not against we're, training that's why we've built student of the gun university oh and uh we're moving forward with that putting a lot more effort into that so that we can help get you guys you, trained you know in student of the gun university and the university show episode three i taught top three mistakes that new gun owners make before going to training what's what's the one tomorrow uh, number four is beginning training is the most important training. Oh, nice. That's number four. So that's, that's, tomorrow. Yeah, that's, that's on good. Thursday. Yeah. So you guys should be listening and you should be sharing that. Uh, the Student of the Gun University podcast is short form, single topic, easy to digest. So the title is the show. That's what you get. The title is the show. So if you're interested in X, Y, or Z, then bingo, bango, bongo, that's it.